Mr. Carter, what's going on, sir? Hey, man, I'm blessed and highly favored. How about yourself? I'm doing you? great. Can't complain. Can't complain. I'm working from home today. Um, decided to play hooky and and just uh, it was cold. So, hey, man, I've seen I've seen your home before. That's a nice place to work from. Man. It just it's just really nice. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. It's it's but sometimes you know there's distractions, right? So sometimes it's hard to stay focused, but but it's it's good. It's good. Absolutely. So how's this week been going for you so far? It's been going good. It's been going good. I think 2022 is going to be a great year. So I'm excited about uh, the, the, the the future, the potential, all that kind of good stuff. Outstanding. Same here, man. We're going to make it a great year. Best year That's yet. It. Breakthrough it. year. Breakthrough year. Best year ever. All right. All right. So, Stephen, what's our topic of the day? Tell everybody about it. Yeah, so first of all, let me just say we're going to shout out to all the people that are watching. We want to give you guys some time to, to, to chime in. Please post up and just kind of let us know who you are, where, you, where you're uh, listening in from. We want to make sure that we address everybody that pops on the line. Make sure you share, um, share this broadcast with others. And you know what? I think that there's a way that, um, that whenever uh, Sterling and I come live, um, that it can send a notification to your phone or whatever when we're coming up live. So if you if you don't mind, turn on that notification so you know when we're in the building. So yes, our uh, topic today is really really just kind of basic and upfront, but it is so important, um, and that is just the topic that first impressions are last impressions. And so there's so many different terms that, that people use when they kind of refer to this first impressions or last impressions, right? It's like uh, presentation is everything. I know that's stuff that we always like to say, especially when we're talking about our business and how we present. Um, you know, some people say fake it till you make it, kind of in that same uh, connotation or what have you. But man, first impressions are so important in life and business and dating and everything. So we just thought we just drop a few little sim simple nuggets that make sense. Exactly. I mean, I think I think sometimes. You, get, you have to use that, that KISS method. Just keep it simple and just remember the basics because those are the most important things. And a lot of times we just don't think about how important it is. And when we walk in the room for the first time and we meet someone for the first time, what's the best way to go about that? How do you want to make a lasting impression? So Absolutely. very cool. Very cool. So let's jump into it. Let's jump into it. Here we go. So the first one, pretty, pretty straightforward, but you'll be surprised at how often People get it wrong, right? Uh, don't be late. You know, we we actually we're in the military, so we believe or we're in the military, so we believe late is uh, or if you're on time, you're late, right? That's so right. you really want to be early if at all possible. So um, I can't uh, stress that enough. I remember, you know, we we interview people all the time, and if you come in on right on the dot or you're a few minutes late, you may have just 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 at that point, you may have already lost your opportunity. You know to get hired because that 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 alone is just enough to to, to not give you that opportunity right steven no, absolutely and that uh, that was that's that old adage the early bird catches the worm i think mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, no definitely i mean and sometimes when you, you arrive early it gives you a chance to settle your mind to be at peace to come up with a strategy it's say if it's an interview there's even an opportunity for you to see who the last person was right before you're coming in that was interviewed you can come up with a, a way, a strategy to, of how to, to out to over perform, outperform that person. So a lot of good stuff. So true. So true. So if anyone has some great stories about when they when they were late or if they had someone that came in and was late and it just didn't work out well, tell us about that. We want to hear the stories. Absolutely. Hear the stories. Master people's names. What do you think, Stephen? Tell us about it. How important is that? It's so, so, so important. So if you know that you're going to an event um, or you're going to a meeting and you know the people that are going to be in that uh, meeting up front, then it just takes a little bit of research, a little bit of uh, checking around and make sure that you know how to properly pronounce their names. We're in such a diverse company uh, in so many different areas of the country now, um, so many different ethnic ethnicities and different descents. And so um, getting someone's um, name right actually especially if someone if people always get their name wrong can be really good it's just a feather in your hat and then definitely remembering people's names is huge right sir 
It is, it is. And there's so many of those different memory uh, tips on how you can do that. Um, a couple of things that I like to do is, is number one, when you get someone's name, immediately stop and then sit, repeat the name back to them. So one, 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 just by repeating the name, you're actually locking, locking it into your memory. Two, you're confirming that you're actually pronouncing it um, correctly. So it's really, really important. And then association. So if you can associate, you know, oh, this name, this guy's name is Mike and my best friend's name is Mike or my cousin's name is Mike. Some kind of a, an association so you don't forget the name is really, really good. So um, and, and then, yeah, it's like Steve was saying, you got to got to be able to say it right and remember the name. That's really important. So that's it. So let's do some yeah. shout outs there. Most of people uh, chat yeah. in. You want to say hello to them? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So we got Sean Gutierrez in the in the building. He's saying that we're having he's having some issues, or we're having some issues with cutting in and out. So um, I don't see any glitches on this side, Stephen. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully it's it's corrected itself. So we'll keep, we'll keep moving, Sean. But thanks for letting us know. Absolutely. Uh, Drew Raglan is in the in the building. Mister Cap Afasai himself. All that kind of good stuff. Love what you're doing for Five Strong. Um, he says, uh, I'm terrible at remembering names. Yeah, Drew, <laughs> we all have to do better with that. That's for sure. And then Sharon says, hello. Hey, Sharon, uh, glad you can make it on. And so, and then Sean says he switched to, to his, his phone, so it works now. Awesome. Yeah. Any comments on your end, Stephen? I do, I do. So uh, Keith Davis, uh, Mr. D. Morris himself says, says my brothers. So he's saying hello. Um, D, D. Mars and I, you know, I, I, and I go back a long ways. We, um, when I was in my promotion days, we used to work together. But he runs one of the largest African American owned magazines in Houston. So shout outs to Keith, to Keith uh, Davis, Mr. D. Mars, and then uh, Carolyn Richards says hello. Um, Carolyn and, and I and my wife, we all went to uh, Windsor Village Methodist Church together for a long time and she's a um, blessed praise dancer, the leader of the praise dance group for a long time. So haven't seen you in a while. Hello, Carolyn, how are you? Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then we have Miss Misty is in the building. What's going on, Misty Dunn? And how good, boy, I tell you, that that, that gentleman is always so dapper. Everyone- you see, you see that profile picture right there, man. This profile picture, oh, sure, I tell sure. you. Sure, you know, you know they dapper when he makes a logo and the logo is an image of himself that's a how clothing I'm line of, a, yeah, of, of, an, of, of an image of himself that's impressive when i grew you know, up when i grew this up is, this is an honor to, 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 to know mr charles how, how good absolutely <laughs> and miss tony scott is in the building hey tony it's good to see you glad you could make it and uh, glad to see you're you're back and on your feet i think the last time i saw him on facebook COVID was, had, had hit and all that kind of good stuff. So it's, it's actually touched um, a lot of us. So we're glad everybody's feeling better and all that kind of good stuff. So we better, we better keep going. We'll just, we'll That's have good. to have to, we're having so much fun with the comments. But the That's last good. one, Aquavius says hello. He says, I wanted to wait until the end, end of the comment, but I just received a verbal offer and had a conversation before the interview. That gave me much insight. I love it. I love it. That's, That's it. That's exactly excellent. what we're talking about. Excellent. Excellent. So we we will. I, we got some other great ones on there. So I'll, I'll definitely have to uh, check back in a little bit later. But we'll go back to our topic. So we just talked about mastering people's names, and the next one. Smile, Stephen. Show me that 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 amazing smile you have over there. It's this well, you know. About. My smile may not be as amazing as as most, but I'm confident in my smile. Yeah, I'll exactly. Smile and we're going to talk about confidence a little bit later too. But go ahead, Steve. Yeah. So you know, it's it's interesting. So um, Sterling and I from Mississippi, and you know, not that that means anything, but I I used to have, I still have a slight gap. Used to have a bigger gap when I was younger, and it took a long time before I tried to get my teeth done and all that stuff, and did that way later in life. Um, so I remember younger um, in, in the early part of my life, Sterling, because I had that gap, I never wanted to smile. And right. so I always had the mean mug look or I thought I was like real cool. So I would just like in pictures, I would never smile. But you never know when you're meeting people for the first time what what energy they get, because it's those nonverbal cues before you right. say anything. It's the nonverbal cues that they, they look at you and, and they um, receive a perception. So even if your smile is not the best, smiling does, it, it kind of takes down the guard for some certain people and it means a lot. 
It does. It does. Smiling is everything. And, and you know, they even tell you, too, that even when you're on the phone and you're having a conversation, a smile while you're on the on the phone, because people can hear that through the phone call. So it's, it's just it's, it's that important. It's really, really important. So, uh, so true. That was right on. Sir. Spot on. Excellent. Excellent. So dress how you want to be addressed. And that is I mean, I love the statement itself because it's just such a great statement. Um, but, you know, it's 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 really, really important for us to if we want to be respected, if you want to be um, held in high regard, wherever you go, you want to dress up, dress appropriately. doesn't mean that you need to wear a suit or a dress everywhere you go. But, um, you know, I, I remember having conversations with with Gary, and my son, about, you know, the whole hoodie hoodie conversation. Right. Exactly. Kids, young kids are all into the, the sweatshirts with the hoods and all of that kind of good stuff. But unfortunately, you know, depending on how you're dressed, you're going to be looked, uh, someone's going to look at you in a, in a certain way and they may stereotype you. So it's really important that we understand that dressing and the way we dress makes a big difference. There's a there's a commercial zone that, that plays on one of the hip hop stations in the Houston area. And um, one of the largest attorneys um, that, that lives in this area does, they do really well. Um, but one of the things that he says on the commercial, just to relate to the community, he says, you know, I know how it feels to walk into a jewelry store with J's on versus if you walk into a jewelry store with a suit on. Uh, so when he's talking about working in a store with J's on, obviously he's talking about working, uh, walking in with Jordans, tennis shoes, right, and, and, and that kind of casual outfit versus walking in with a suit. And, uh, and his reference is just kind of understanding that mentality and how people look at you different. And, but that's real. And it's not just in a certain community. That's for everybody, no matter what. Um, you know, depending upon how you look, what you're wearing, the, t the type of clothes you have, it, 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 it puts an impression out there. It really does. It reminds me of a crazy story, or a great story, I guess. Uh, when I was working um, in, in a hospital, I won't name the hospital, but um, I, I used to wear scrubs all the time, right? Scrubs, lap coat, the whole thing. And um, I remember one day just wearing some weather clothes because I needed to go in the hospital and grab something from my office. And it was amazing the difference and the way that you're treated differently just based on what you're wearing and how much that plays a, 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 a part of how people perceive you. So, cool. Hey, you know, so, so that reminds me of something too. I mean, you and I both can relate to this too. Being military guys too, when you're in a military uniform, and right. I've heard the story too, even police officers. You, you obviously get a certain amount of respect or you looked at a certain way just because you have the uniform on and you can walk into the same place, different clothing on, and there's a different, so it, it really does matter. Yes, 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 yes. So we got a few more comments here. So we got Ms. Greta Pearl on. Greta and um, and Nakia, we, we had a great time with these young ladies on, I think yes. it was Monday, Stephen? Yep, Monday. We, we yeah. did their, their podcast. It's called the Real and Raw um, podcast. I think the Real and Raw talk show. Yeah. We just had a great a great time. They are so um, entertaining. If you haven't had a chance, definitely check them out. They're really doing some positive stuff. But glad to see Miss Greta in the building. She says hello, um, Tony's Tony. Thank you. You're welcome, Tony. <laughs> and uh, we've got Charles Hopgood. We appreciate that, uh, Charles. And then, and then have good. Uh oh, I'm all over the place here. Michael Strahan made made the the he gap. Did. Oh, cool. The he smile did. is the door opener. That's right. You just have to be confident. You Michael, he, confident. Hey, he rocks the gap. He's not unapologetic about it, right? Yeah. Rolanda Sue says great topic, and Aquavi says people even talk to you different. So true. So true. The, the dress is so so important. Any other comments on your side, Stephen? Before we. No, we're good. We're good. Okay, we're good. All right. Awesome. 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 So we talked about smile, dress, and the next one. Be, be the, the type, type of person you want to meet, Stephen. Yeah, I know be, you get, yeah. yeah. Be the type of person you want to meet. And so that's that's so true. And this <clears throat> this goes like to me, this is kind of more on the dating scene, right? So when you're going out and you're talking to someone or you're introducing yourself to someone for the first time. And you think about all the quirks that you may have, or the things that you like or not don't like, or whatever. Just, I mean, you kind of this is the same thing as saying, "I put yourself in somebody else's shoes." What kind of person would you want to meet? How would you like them to respond and be that person? 
And you know, <laughs> karma is is real. So if you treated someone really poorly when they try to introduce themselves to you in the past, and now it's your turn, you may get that same karma back. But just be the type of person you want to meet. What do you think, sir? And that is so true. You know, it's, it's almost like um, you know they, they talk about people talk about reviews, right? Um, mm -hmm. Google reviews, all that kind of good stuff. So you can treat someone really, really great. And unfortunately, they probably won't tell a lot of people about how great you are. But if you treat them badly, everyone is going to know. Everyone is going to know. So, so if you treat someone rudely or if you, you know, don't want to don't speak to them or just walk off and turn, turn your head when they're trying to be pleasant towards you, um, that's lasting. That's a lasting impression that you don't want. And believe me, they are not going to forget and they're probably going to tell a lot of people about about the interaction that they have with you. So be that type of person. Be nice. Be um, um, outgoing, um, pleasant. You know, laugh, smile. Just you know, just be pleasant. That's important. So important. So important. Yeah. All right. So moving on. Moving on. We've been talking about this one a little bit, Stephen. You're the master of confidence. Tell us all about it. <laughs> master of confidence. I don't know about all that, but I, I tell you what. I know that. Uh, um, in order to win, you got to walk in with, a, with confidence, with, with confidence. I, when when I was single um, in the single world, which is a long time ago, sir, a long, <laughs> long, long time ago. Uh, but the guys that I ran around with, um, you know, I think some of these, some of the guys, when they have the gift to gab, if you looked at them, you know, and, and you just say, hey, this guy is just an average guy. But because they approach the game uh, with confidence, and they were just themselves. Um, they won. I mean, they 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 would they would win the the most attractive young lady or whatever. And you know what? You know who's a who's an example of this right now, Sterling. What's the name of the guy that's now dating Kim Kardashian that used to be on SNL? Everybody talks about this guy. He was crazy. His last name I think is Davidson. Somebody out there, you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, dating. dating uh, um, um, Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian right now. But you look at this guy, he's just odd looking, pale guy, not your not your kind of stereotypical, very, you know, the rock look kind of um attractive. And he has so many women across Hollywood that love him. And they all say the same thing. They say it's he's confident and he's real and he's just himself. And it's so important. You know, that reminds me of a story. I'm, I'm dating myself here, but MTV. So, well, I guess MTV, MTV is still around. But there was this one show that they had a, a long time ago. And it was this guy that wrote a book about how, um, how, how he can get any man to date, you know, any woman that he wants to and more. And so the, it was a reality show. And what, what he did was they would just bring, bring on these 10 regular guys and he would coach them on how to how, how to walk into a room and all that kind of good stuff. But 90% of what he talked about was was being confident and walking into the room like you own it. And there was this one one part of the uh, the, the the show where they were going to going to like a pool party and all these guys were like out of shape, all that kind of good stuff. And it was amazing. Like they walked in and there's other guys that were all fit and ripped and all that kind of good stuff, but they came in with confidence and the conversation was right. And they were they were the ones that won. So that's great it. stuff, great stuff. So well, Quavia saved me. So Pete Davidson, that's the guy's name. Pete Davidson. So for, for those people who haven't, who don't know who he is, just kind of Google Pete Davidson. this guy. He's, a, he's an awkward looking dude, but it works. Uh huh. Uh huh. It works. And so Jerry Baker says, "Dress for where you are going, not where you are at." I love it. Donna says exactly. And like I said, Quavia says, says Pete is the one he's the person we were talking about pete davidson awesome 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 so moving on we are having some fun here last just a couple more left and nope oh, let me go back to this one no we talked about it yeah we, we talked about that. It. next one make eye contact really really important right yeah. i mean i i think that um people really take it for granted how important it is to make make eye contact when you're talking to someone but it shows that you're confident that what you're saying they actually is more they they will believe it more because if your your eyes are shifting if you're looking down if you're looking to the or the left or the right they're just going to think that there's something that you're saying that you're just you're not telling the truth you're creating stuff but you have to make eye contact is really really important it makes all the difference in the world 
Yeah, so Cyril, I think that back in the day when you used to have those blue eye contacts, I think that was part of your appeal. They were blue. They were gray. They were gray. But the gray eye, the, the gray contacts were fire back in the day. Hey, was, let me tell y'all. Let me was, tell y'all. Sterling, game changer. When, when he had these gray eye contacts, man, oh <laughs> my god, he just he was winning, man. I was in the same. It was in the single days. It was a long time yeah. ago. So I had the gray but the contacts. Gray contacts work for you, my brother. I had the S curl, so my hair looked really curly. I had this, <laughs> oh man, it was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so making eye contact, really important. And then the last one, ask questions and remember the que the, the uh, conversation. So um, just really important, you know, when you're having a conversation with someone, they do not want to hear about how great you are. They really right. want to talk about themselves. Everybody wants to talk about themselves. So when you're having a conversation with someone, you should be asking more questions and getting to know them more than you're talking about yourself. Because once once they know that you're engaged and, and that you're interested in them, they're gonna it's it's gonna come back. It's gonna it's gonna come back tenfold. So then they're gonna find out want to find out more about you because they're like, I really like this guy because exactly. he and it's and it's not because you said anything. It's because you're engaging with them, and then. Remembering the conversation, just one small thing, right, Stephen? Just something in yeah. the conversation that's maybe personal or memorable that you can repeat back to them the next time that they that you see them, and it just it makes them understand or know that that you paid attention to to the conversation and, and that that you value them. Uh, what do you think, Steve? This is, I mean, th this is this is almost as important as dressing for success, right? Because right. Um, especially when it comes to sales, because it's all and sales is all about really you want to hear them talk and you do, mm -hmm. you do less talking, more listening. And so that you can come up with your strategy of how you're going to respond to make sure you can close the deal. So asking us questions and being very inquisitive is important. And like you said, remembering a conversation, you can just ask somebody if somebody mentioned that the daughter plays basketball, <coughs> excuse me, um, the daughter play, plays basketball. The next time you guys have a conversation, you can say, hey, how was that game um, for your daughter? Did she score any points? I mean, and just the fact that you paid attention and you were really engaged is going to go a long way. So true. So true. We got a few more comments here. So, we, oh, Mr. Jeff Lowe, uh, Daryl Jeff Lowe says, look me, <laughs> look me in the eye with the blue contacts. Oh, well, that's that's hilarious. So we have to send a shout out to uh, Daryl Jeff Lowe, a, a really good friend, brother, fraternity brother. Uh, it's his birthday. I think it was either today or yesterday. Yesterday. I think it was yesterday. I think he turned like 31, 32. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. But, funny, funny story in regards to, to confidence, right? So I don't, I, don't, I know I know Daryl Jeff Lowe remembers this. But back back in Langston, his nickname was Chance. And everyone would go up. Go up still to, is. They still call him Chance. They still call him Chance, right? So they go up, go up to, to Daryl and say, Chance, what does that mean? And he's like, you you only get one. And, <laughs> and so you only get one chance. And so you talk about confidence for someone just to come up, you know, just to come up with his name and just say, hey, you only get one chance with, with, with Mr. Jeff Lowe. That's that's that speaks. That's that's a, that's a conversation starter. And that's that's confidence on on a, on 100. So I love that. No, so sure, I have another Jeff Lowe story. So I'm just going to stroke his ego while we're talking about it. Right. I told Jeff Lowe this the last time I, talk, I, I saw him at homecoming. So he taught me this real simple lesson. Back in the day, we were we were uh, in, in, uh, you know in, in under in undergrad. We're all broke. We're going to McDonald's to try to get some food. And Daryl is one of these ones. I was like, he, his his mantra basically is like, if you don't ask, you're not going to get it. Right. So we're going to the mic. We're going to the drive through. We're at the little drive through speaker, and Daryl asked for like some free fries or something. Real smooth with it, you know. He's a noob, so he came real smooth with the with the request for, for some free fries. And I'm like, I'm thinking it's tacky, dude. Why are you asking this young lady? She's at her job. She's not gonna give you some free fries. And we pull up to the window. Sure enough, sir, what happens? She they gave, put she free, gave fries free fries in the bag. Yeah. It was that was so simple, man. But I remember that to this to this day because it just reinforced, man. I was like, I I was thinking I would never have done that, but after right. you did that, it kind of just it was just something so simple that made me think. And you never know if you don't ask, you're not gonna get it. That's I it. Love That's it great, great McDonald's life story, lesson. man. That McDonald's story stuck with me, Jeff Lowe. Great life lesson. So, uh, Mr. Festus, uh, more. Oh, wait a minute. I was trying to show it. 
is in, is in the house. Uh, Festus is one a really good friend of mine. We were in the military together for years, and he is a therapist um, and has his own therapy uh, business. Actually, I think it's not necessarily therapy. I think it's wellness um, and extensive rehab. But anyway, welcome. Glad you make it, Festus. And then uh, Daryl says, "Is there anything stopping you guys from hiring me now? Hiring me now." Uh, uh, money. We don't exactly. have money. money. <laughs> but we, we need your marketing skills. That's for sure. That's for sure. Um, and then Carolyn, hey, Carolyn, she said, free fries, smooth ter- criminal. That's that's, that's Daryl Jeff Lowe. That's, that's That is Mr. Jeff Lowe. Well, we had an amazing time. Stephen, any uh, any comments on your end that we missed? No, no. I think David David Mosby just, man, David is uh-huh. uh, man, this, one, one of the coolest cleanest dressing brothers that i know speaking of jays man david mosby man he's one of these guys that that uh he can he can rock um jays and, and jeans and whatever and just make mm-hmm. think that it's it's versace 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 so shout out to dave yes i think david is the is the king of the the shades his his, his sunglass game is always on point on point, on point, on point. And, so he uh, says uh making a last impression because a lot of decisions um about your life are made when you are not in the room by others man that's 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 real that's real well said well said and then miss carolyn she loves she loves the hair Stephen. she's loving it i think i'm gonna keep growing and go go to jay-z route just have it I like that. Mm, that may be a little <laughs> too far. That may be pushing it just a little bit. We're talking about a Kodak, 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 first Kodak, impression. Jay Z can get away with that, but I don't know. I don't know if you're yeah. right. I mean, I know you S. Doc Carter, but I don't know if you can't. I don't know if you're quite ready for that Jay Z. <laughs> you see, Carolyn. Carolyn right. says no. Nah. She's nah. She says no. So I uh, agree. Can't agree. do that. <laughs> Okay, everyone. Well, thanks. We had a really great time. We'll be back on uh, next Thursday. Uh, Never mind the motivational Mondays. At some point, we're going to change it from Mondays to Thursdays because we're doing Thursdays now. And um, it's it's always a great time. We love inspiring and giving back. Uh, Again, we are the Carter Brothers. If you want more information, you can find us on uh, our at www.thecarterbrothers.com. Or our, our uh, social media media handle is the Twin Carters. I can't even get it out today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're going to do our little at- outro, and we are going to get out of here. So, oh, one other thing. Looks like Jeff Lowe says, so proud of you, you two, and thankful to God for bringing you in my life. Oh, That's man. it, man. Good stuff. No, Good stuff. No, Shine no. on news. Keep spreading. Keep spreading those valuable nuggets. We will definitely continue. Definitely continue. Corey Battles in the, in the building. It keeps going. I love it. I love it. So we'll we'll we will have to. I know it's gonna. Yeah, we got it. We got it closed. We got it closed. But thank you guys for the love and for the comments. So we're going to go out on our outro slash intro. It, it's it's both. <laughs> Ready, Steve? Let's do it. Let's do it.